Okay, first thing you want to do, you want to get waves. Uh, you need a brush, two sided, I like to use. Uh, it's the way you brush. From the top, you brush forward, the sides at an angle, and the back down. And you want to brush 20 minutes for each uh, meal, like breakfast, lunch, brush for 20 minutes, uh, lunch, brush for 20 minutes, and dinner, brush for 20 minutes. And you want to keep on doing this for a consistent basis. Um, next thing I do is I have some moisturizers that I put in my hair. Uh, this is the shampoo I use. I'll tell you about that later. Right here, I use this. I put this on before I put on my pomade. And you put about put about a dime size of this on, and brush it through your hair. But make sure you do it with the grain. When I say grain, I mean brush it like put it on like you're brushing it. Um, mm -hmm. Pomades I use are 360 style. You can find this at your local pharmacy, Giant CVS, and you can also find that conditioner at Giant CVS. Then I also like to use a sea sick pomade. You can find this online. It's very good. It smells really well. I mean, it smells really good and brings out your waste. Uh, you can also use sporting waves. I prefer not to use this, but you can uh, use it, whatever fits your style. You uh, can also use olive oil as a moisturizer. Uh, I like this better um, than some of those pomades, so you can use this. And I really like this one. You, it smells really good. It conditions your hair, and you should probably do this. You don't have to do it every day, but if you're going out for an occasion or a really special, uh, if you're doing a really special thing or have a party to go to, you wear this. Everybody will be jealous of your waves because they'll be spinning, as of course if you do put in the work. Um, okay, so when you're putting in, when you're, so when you, if you want to shower, you want to shower every day, but don't wash your hair every day. Um, I mean, don't shampoo it every day. You want to shampoo it uh, two times a week. And what I do is I, Put in this cream of nature shampoo, uh, recommended, highly recommended by a lot of people. I uh, put that in, put it in with my hair through the grain, with the grain. Then I brush. I don't rinse it. I don't rinse it out. I brush ten minutes, then I rinse it out. Then put my conditioner in. Then I brush that. Then I rinse it out. Then I get out of the shower and I. Dry my hair, but I keep it damp. And a reminder: always when you're brushing, don't brush it when it's dry. You want to have like a empty spray bottle and put water in it, so it, when you brush it, it's always damp. Um, yeah. So, what else? Yeah, and the pomade method. You want to do that about two times a week, as well as the shampoo thing. Um, a reminder, you can get different pomades. The pomades I showed you, you don't have to use those. Um, yeah, and then what you also want to do if you want to get ways, tell your barber to cut with the grain and with a 1.5 guard clipper. Usually most of these are the standard uh, clippers, so you don't have to worry about asking them that. Uh, and then when you go to sleep, you should put on a do-rag or a wave cap. I use a do-rag usually because I lost my wave cap. But, um, yeah, put on a do-rag at night. It lays down it lays down your hair. Keeps it nice so when you get up, it's not all mangled and unmanageable. And now I'm going to show you what my wave looked like after six weeks of hard work. See, at the top, uh, it's 
for you. Another gleam of flesh. Get a closer view. Can't show you the back right now, but yeah, those are my waves. And if you have any questions or comments, leave your name and email. And once again, here are the waves. See, I still got some work to do on the top, but for the most part, it's finished.